When it comes to memorable characters, Patrick O'Brien is king with roles in films like The Curious Case of Benjamin Button and TV roles on The West Wing and Saved by the Bell as Mr. Dewey. He's crafted a long-standing career in entertainment and he's here today to share with us his latest project, Underneath the Little. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Hillary. Well, so First I'm... of all, I'd like to apologize for not shaving and getting a haircut, <laughs> but it's, it's for the character, for the Oh, uh, very the nice. Yeah, very so well, I'm excited to hear about this because yes. you're here all weekend doing Yes. a performance of Underneath the Lintel. Tell us yes. about that. Well, it's a one-man show in which I play a librarian, an eccentric librarian, who uh, has a very small life in the beginning of the play, just goes from his home to the library and back, but then um, he finds in the overnight slot a book that's 123 years overdue, which upsets him in the beginning, but then he <laughs> finds little clues in the book. He gets obsessed with who it was that the bar with the, the uh, who originally borrowed the book, mm -hmm. and he goes on a worldwide quest to find out about who the borrower was. Ooh, very interesting. It's very funny, but with some poignancy as well. Well, you've it's had a very long-standing career in entertainment. How did you even begin as an actor? Oh, I guess maybe being an altar boy, I would say, back in uh, Catholic school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had everything. You, you, had, you had the star of the show, the priest, you had blocking props, and the almighty reviewer up some, above. Some costumes, you know I mean? right? Everything. Costumes. Yeah. <laughs> now, and yeah, what was it like working on the show that defined my generation? I'm showing my age here, but Saved by the Bell. You are. You are. Um, um, I'm sorry, what was what the question? What was it like working on that show? Um, well, in the beginning, I didn't think it was going to be a big hit. I was actually on the first episode uh, after it would changed over. It was originally called uh, Good, Good Morning, Morning Miss Bliss. Bliss, and then mm -hmm. they recast. And I was on the first episode. I thought, well, cute kids, cute little idea, but I didn't think it would go anywhere, actually. Um, and it was getting lousy reviews, you know, when it, when it How first can came this be? out. So <laughs> it, it's a fact, but, uh, you know, they stuck with it. And like you said, it's a defining show of a generation. Well, you were so. one of the most memorable characters because the teachers really yeah, helped sort you. of define who the students became and things yeah. like that. But did, do you ever get recognized as Mr. Dewey? Not so much anymore. I mean, it's been Don't 23 me years. Old, and uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, back in the day, yeah, I mean, I would be swamped by junior high kids wanting autographs. You know. Oh, I love In fact, that. we lived in Burbank just we were in the same block as a junior high so it was yeah Mr. Dewey's house uh, when the kids would walk by. I love it. Yeah. Well I'm going to challenge you to a game of Saved by the Bell trivia. Now you said it's been a long time and, and you didn't keep up with the show quite as closely as I did. I didn't. I, I didn't. So I may smoke you at this but I do have some other fun questions if you're failing miserably. That's right. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, and to be smoked by anyone. All right, we're going to be you. Oh, well, thank you, yeah, Patrick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got one bell here. Lovely Amber, who's assisting us Hi. today, our intern, is going to be asking the questions, and then whoever thinks they know the answer, just reach for the bell first. So you and I both. Like, All right. Okay, you prepared? I'm ready. Let's yeah. do this. Okay. Okay. What superhuman ability did Zach Morris possess? He, uh, he would That's freeze cool. time and talk to the camera. Yes! Woo! That's right. one. I'm sorry. That's all right. Okay. That's all, all right. right. All right. See, Next that's question. not considered a superhuman ability in Hollywood, but go ahead. Okay. It happens quite a bit. Yeah, sure. well, we'll let you try again. <laughs> Albert Clifford Slater was nicknamed AC by his friends. What was his sister's nickname? Didn't know he had one. <laughs> <laughs> she apparently wasn't in your class, Mr. Gray. <laughs> no, no. Um, Okay, it's, all yours. it's either it's either BJ or JB. Uh, you're close. Uh, JB. Yes. Woo okay. Two zero. <laughs> Two right, zero. We'll just, we'll just do one more, and then I have some fun questions for okay. Patrick here. Okay. What is three times two? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Six. Yes. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now I have some getting to know you questions just real quick that we okay. like to ask all of our celebrities. Just give me your, your first answer. Cake or pie? Pie. Singing or dancing? Singing. Math or English? English. Oh, interesting. Uh, Coke or Pepsi? Uh, that, that, neither, actually. Uh, 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 orange juice. Oh, uh, ooh, very healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loved yes. or respected? Boy, that's deep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We don't mess around on this show. Loved. 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 I like that. Paper or plastic? Paper. 
Love or money? Love. Oh, such a such a oh, love. Come on. So tardy. <laughs> Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla, actually. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. Morning or night? Morning, definitely morning. And then Amber, you can ask Patrick the last one. Oh yes, Patrick, now or then? <laughs> <laughs> no. Good yeah. answer. Yeah. 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 So you're going to be performing all weekend, but are you going to get to do anything fun while you're in Dallas Fort Worth this weekend? I hope so. And so, well, we've got to, we've got uh, to get you planned, out. But uh, yeah. Well, wonderful. Give me a call. Well, we want you to come back to the show. I hope you have a great run this weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, and again, you can see the amazing Patrick O'Brien this weekend and underneath the lintel at Water Tower Theater here in Addison during the Out of the Loop Fringe Festival. And if you'd like tickets, times, and more information, log on to watertowertheater.org or call 972-450-6232.